Hi everyone, it's Monica and welcome back to Tyler Made Cards for You. Well, it's the beginning of February and that means there's only a couple of weeks until Valentine's Day. So I thought I would go ahead and create a final Valentine's Day project for the, uh, for the challenge going on over at my blog, Tailor Made Cards for You. Um, and the theme is going to be love potions. So this is one of my favorite types of themes and I think it's really why I love Halloween as well because I love creating projects that have the apothecary theme. So it could be an alchemist theme or a chemist or a pharmacist. And I have some really fun objects around my craft room just to inspire me because I love this type of a theme so much. I have this old wooden uh, herb crusher and then I have this old pill box um, that actually belonged to my husband's uh, great-grandfather, I want to say. And then finally, I have some really cool old pharmacist labels, or I should say prescription uh, books. And as you can see here, the phone on it was TU5-6237. So you know these are old. Um, so I just like to collect items like this just because I love the look of it and that's what led me into my project for today. So last year I created this really cute little uh, I guess journal book um, that holds little valentines and it's very cutesy. It's very cute. Um, but cutesy isn't always my style. I mean I don't mind making cutesy items but it really isn't my passion. So I thought I would try to come up with something with the same design, but going more towards the chemist, pharmacist uh, design. So this is what I came up with. Um, I created some digitals to kind of go with my theme. Um, and um, these are kind of my prototypes. So I have some really fun images to work with. Uh, I have some uh, layers that I've created. I also have these old bottles still left over from Halloween that I'm going to cover with um, this old sticker book that I have. So I'm going to be able to transform those and I'm going to be able to create a little booklet like this. Now this whole journey started because I was creating these tickets um, using some of my stamps and some of my remnant rubs and then it just kind of progressed into creating this project. And that's kind of where I go these days with my crafting. I just kind of sit down and start creating things and let my creative juices start flowing and then I kind of come up with a project. This kind of just came through the process of creating. I had no intentions of creating a new kit for February, but that's kind of where it led me. Now, the die that creates this little pocket journal uh, is from Six Six, and that's how I create most of mine. But I know not everybody has this die, so I thought what we would do today is try to create this just with measurements. So, of course, you know, you're not going to have the rounded here um, like I do, but you, we can still come up with the dimensions to be able to create a little booklet, um, and then you can decorate it however you want. So I think that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go ahead and put this together. Um, and I'll give you the dimensions so you can create one on your own. And then at the end of the video, I'll share with you some of my finished projects that I created um, using my new kit. Um, I don't even have a name for it yet. That's how new it is. I think I'm going to call it the chemist. Um, but um, I'll create one using my new kit. And then I, maybe if I have some time, I'll create some other ones just using some regular craft paper. Because this is a design that you'll be able to create with uh, all, all sorts of different types of themes, right? You can do it as cutesy as you want or, you know, as vintage as you want. So there's a lot of ways that you can go with it. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so let's see if we can figure this out. Now these are cut from my die. Um, so this is the pocket right here and it has the score lines and whatnot. And then this is the actual outside. And on my die, you cut two of these. So the measurement on this, uh, not taking into consideration this curve, is, let's see, oops, let's do it this way. 
um, is about six. So you're going to want to cut a piece of cardstock six inches long and then your width is on it's not quite three it's on the mark next to the three so you're going to want to cut it just i guess that'd be a centimeter right just a little past the three mark and that will give you your outside now for the scoring Let's see, your score lines are here on the die. So the score line is about an inch and a half down, and you're going to score a half an inch. <laughs> so you're going to start at an inch and a half, and you're going to score a half an inch. Okay, so now you have your score line. Actually, I do a quarter of an inch, let's see. So, inch and a half, yeah. Sorry about that, you wanna go a half an inch, not a quarter of an inch. Okay. And you wanna do that on both sides. So let's do the same thing here. Come down an inch and a half and then score another half an inch okay and then just make sure that your creases are nice and crisp all right now you're not gonna have this because this is part of the die so if you have you know a corner rounder or a crop a dial that will work fine so that's what I'm going to do on this one. Or if you have a steady hand, do the big one. You know, you can always cut that arch, right? So completely up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and just do it right like that. Okay, so once you have your paper exactly the same size, you want to go ahead and attach this. So you're going to glue the flap in the inside. So let's see here, I have this one here. Um, and as you can see on this particular one, uh, oh, I thought I had glued it wrong. Okay, so you just wanna make sure that when you close it, the flap's gonna be on the inside. So just get your glue or your adhesive And then just using that score line as your guide, go ahead and attach it. All right, and then once it's completely dry, you'll have your outside. Now for the closure, um, there's a couple ways you can go. I did, you know, two brads here and a wrap around um, to close it, or you can use Velcro. So, you know, any type of closure is going to work for that. So let's go ahead and move on to the pockets. Now, for the pockets, here's the die. Um, so let's see, actually, yep, this is, okay, so this is the die. So for your measurements on this, you're gonna wanna go, let's see, from the farthest side, uh, a little, let's see, so that's six and three fourths, right? That's what it looks like to me. So let's see if that's what we cut. Yep, six and three fourths. And then for your length, it's going to be almost four and three fourths, not quite. So, Let's see here. 
So you got your four and three, four. Let's see, no, that's four and a half. So four and a half, and then two past the four and a half mark. So in the middle between four and a half and four and three fourths. Okay, and then that should match up perfectly. Now, as far as your score lines, let's see if we can figure that out. So this here is one past the half an inch. So you got your half an inch and then move one over. And that's your side score. And then I cheat from here, I just fold it right in half. I don't even figure out the score line. So, well, if I'm really cheating, I would be using the die, right? But this for you guys just that don't have the die, just fold it in half and then score it. Okay. And then for your bottom score, it's the same exact thing, half an inch and then one more tick point. Okay, and then you have your bottom. So kind of like you're making a pocket, nothing to it. And then you're gonna wanna trim your edges. So on the side that has the fold, I just go, get bigger scissors here. I just go kitty corner. So just right on that line. And then <coughs> you're gonna want to keep your bottoms because this is what you attach to the booklet. But you're gonna want to cut straight up here. So you got this fold here, cut straight up, and then just get rid of part of that. And that's so it will fold easier. Okay, and then again, I like to round my corners. I just think it looks cleaner. And it will attach nicely that way as well. So, I feel like I'm off here, guys. Okay. Okay, and there's your pocket. My goodness. So if you just sit down and do a few of these, it's not hard. If you have the die, it's a lot easier, but I know not everybody can invest in, and this is the big die, right? It's the long one, it's the thick one. So it's a little bit of money, um, but I'll try to find it for you guys, for those of you that want to pick it up. I mean, it's a very versatile die. For some reason, I don't use it very often. I'm not sure why, but like I've said before, this is the year of use it or lose it. So. I'm going through my scraps or my craft supplies and my tools. And if I don't use them this year, I'm getting rid of them. I've decided. I mean, I know I've invested a lot of money in my stuff, but I'm not going to have it just sitting around anymore, you know. So I'm going to be using some of this stuff and I'll have my videos to prove it. So if I don't see that I've used it in 2021, it's gone. Now, as far as placement, so when you place these, this is your clothes, right? This flap here is gonna go towards you and then it's gonna line up right on the score line, okay? So, just add your glue and line it up on your score line if you're using wet adhesive give it a minute if you got those binder clips that I love so much add your binder clips and give it a minute to dry my desk is such a mess you guys if you could see it it's out of control all right so Try to make sure it's lined up evenly. Okay. And then 
that's kind of how it's gonna go now when you do your next pocket let me just get a sample here real quick it's the same process but instead of gluing to your panel you're gonna glue right onto the pocket okay so use the pocket as your guide and then glue it and I fit four into mine so when I made this one I was able to get four pockets so like I said it's a very easy design um, you can sit down and create several of these in a night um, but what I would recommend is before you attach your pockets, you know, do your decorating because it's a lot easier to decorate on a flat panel than it is on, you know, a put together one. And then, you know, once you're done, you'll have little pockets to put little pieces of ephemera. So like I said, I put together a kit unintentionally. I didn't plan on putting together a kit. But I wanted to put together some sort of pocketbook for a chemist for all of his love potions. Um, and that's kind of what I came up with. So um, I have some really cute uh, ephemera that go in these pockets. And I'll make sure I list it all below for you um, so that way you can check it out. Uh, but if you have any Halloween stuff, I mean, Halloween items will work great for love potion themed cards, right? So I have some of these old bottles that I used in my Halloween uh, projects. And when I was going through my stash, I found these old bottle caps. And I think these are going to be great. So I'm going to take these little stickers and just glue them right over that bat. And now I have a love potion. So, you know, go through your Halloween stash, see if you have any apothecary type theme pieces to decorate your, uh, your little booklets on. And if you don't, like I said, I'll link the kit below for you. Um, so if you do want to use uh, my kit for the chemist and create those little pocket cards, uh, you'll have some cute ephemera to do that. All right, so as always, like I said, I'll leave a link to all the products that I've used, uh, and I'll try to find this die for you as well. And if you've enjoyed my video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And finally, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be coming up with some more projects um, this month. Um, like I said, this kit was put together last minute, so I wanna give you some more ideas on how to use it. And of course, don't forget to check out the challenge over on my challenge blog. And our uh, optional theme this month is going to be love potions, but it is uh, uh, anything goes type of a theme. So be sure to check that out.